Episode 3 brings us back to New York City. The Solar Amusement Park on Coney Island will reintroduce us to Keener, as well as Conley and her cleaners, and of course the Black Tusk. As a prologue to Warlords of New York, there are many questions I had about Keener, returning factions such as Cleaners, Rikers, The Last Man Battalion, as well as Vivian Conley and the Black Tusk. What did Keener have Vitelli Chernenko work on? What is he planning to do? Why did Keener give Chernenko to the Black Tusk? And what happened to the LMB? These questions I will answer using the lore, dialogue and audio and video logs found in episode 3. Let's get into it. Keener has an entire backstory from the time he was sent out as a first wave division agent to him now attacking the division headquarters in Lower Manhattan. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on his story, the key moments, but if you want a more detailed explanation make sure to check out the video card in the top right. Keener, the prototypical division candidate, was sent along the other first wave agents to Manhattan. It was a hopeless situation as we know and Keener would find out soon enough. He rescued a group of civilians from the Dark Zone, but was followed by a group of Rikers. He requested help from the JTF, but it was denied. This betrayal was the turning point for Keener. In his newfound ambition, Keener decided to hunt down a new goal, create a new virus. The threat of being able to turn certain that loose at any time puts him in a powerful position. Keener needed to get his hands on two things. On one hand the equipment and notes used to create the green poison and on the other hand a virologist who could assist him in creating a new virus. Keener tracked down the lab of Gordon Amherst who was then revealed to be the creator of the green poison. Although Amherst was deceased, Keener managed to get his hands on Amherst's notes, a fire sample and a 3D DNA fabricator. In the meantime he sent one of his rogue agents, Hornet, to extract Vitaly Chernenko from the Russian embassy. Keener regrouped at the headquarters of the Last Man Battalion in the United Nations Embassy. But, after the JTF and Division launched an assault on the compound, Keener took Chernenko, Emmer's equipment and notes and escaped by helicopter. His whereabouts since then have been unknown until recently his audio recordings and interaction with the Black Dust located him to Coney Island and Lower Manhattan. Dead drops Keener left in Washington DC created confusion on what his plans were and what he was going to do with Chernenko. Although he earlier established his plan was to create a new virus, Keener made us doubt it by playing with our minds. However, the audio logs from Coney Island give us insight in what Keener had Chernenko do. I don't know why he is forcing me to make this. I don't know if I want to know. Keener never does anything by chance. There is always a purpose. At least one. Sometimes 10, for everything he does. I don't want to speculate because it's too dark. Knowing the things he's done, and the things this new virus can do. But if we're lucky, he will use this on himself. And this is all just an elaborate way to get me to kill him in a very dramatic fashion. I don't know how anyone could live with themselves after the things he's done. I don't know how to live with myself. I didn't know what I was doing when I was working with Amherst. That work was about science, not the application. I didn't see the applications, but now, with Kinner's virus, I see too many, and all of them terrify me. I'm sorry, Mr. Kinner. I don't know what happened. It's okay. We can try again. I don't have any more of the viral samples. They were destroyed in the experiment. That's fine. You don't keep all your eggs in one basket. I can get more. You have more of the virus? Of course, Vitaly. I get you whatever you need. Just stay focused on your work and try to stay calm. You make silly mistakes when you're stressed. I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Thank you, Mr. Keener. Sleep well. I'll get you another sample. I will see you in the morning. Good night, Mr. Keener. It appeared Keener's intentions were still the same. He used Chernenko to create another virus and Chernenko, fearing for his own life, complied. Although it took some time, Chernenko managed to create a working virus, all materials supplied by Keener with the time until death being around 5 and a half minutes. Still, if Chernenko committed suicide, Keener's plans would have been ruined. So why didn't he? The latest version is more potent and the time from exposure to termination has been cut in half. 
Average time of death after exposure on the last batch was 5 minutes and 24 seconds. Results are promising. Kino will be pleased. This is not me. This is not who I wanted to be. I wanted to help people. To cure cancer with viruses, not weaponize them. But Kina? He forces me to use my research to... I wish I was brave enough to take my own life, but... I can't. I'm a coward. It would be so easy to just drop a vial on the ground and let it take me. But I can't. If I get it down to one minute, then... Then I think I wouldn't be afraid anymore. I could handle that pain for a minute. But not for five. Okay. Back to work. I think Keener knew well enough that Chernenko didn't have the balls to do it. As Chernenko said, he never had a malicious intent. He wanted the virus to cure cancer, not weaponize it to create chaos and destruction. But the truth was that Keener had Chernenko make the virus he wanted. How did Chernenko end up in the Black Tusk's hands? You put Chernenko in the chamber? Precaution. He could be infected. Okay. Any idea when we're gonna close this deal? Who the fuck knows? Keener told us to stay put and watch his asset until further notice. You and your boy scouts will just have to wait. How do you know he's not playing us? New York's my court. That bitch wants to play, he better be fucking ready. For now, I'm just here to make sure Kino holds up his end. Sounds like a flimsy ass plan if you ask me. Yo, I didn't ask you. What I think it is? Yeah. But that's not one of ours. Are you finished? Yes. Great. So, we need to talk about your next project. Please, Mr. Keener. The results of the latest experiments are violent enough. Please don't make me create something like that again. Oh, no. Vitaly. You misunderstand me. Are you going to kill me? Vitaly, of course not. I'm letting you go. You are? I found a group that will keep you safe. And you've really done exceptional work, and people are starting to take notice. Who are these people? Uh, Black Tusk. Uh, you like them. They're a very elite group and professional. They'll keep you busy. With Keener having his fires from Chernenko, he no longer had use for him. However, you still think having Chernenko would have been a useful asset and giving him to the Black Tusk, another group looking for power, wouldn't be a smart move. But as Chernenko said, Keener does everything with a purpose, and it includes one of his rogue agents, Vivian Conley. So what's the deal here? You're just going to give us Chernenko? Yes. And what do you want in return? I've got something in mind. Don't worry, it's a reasonable trade. I'll send you the details. From what I've heard about you, you don't strike me as reasonable. You can't believe everything you hear, Dolores. Jones, we're not on a first name basis. You're not my friend, Kina. You're a tough cookie, Jones. I respect that. He's not infected, is he? Why would he be infected? You play in the dirt, you tend to get dirty. A virologist without a proper lab? I expect him to have a virus. He's clean. But if you're worried about it, just put him in quarantine. <sighs> you really ain't making it easier to trust you. I'm sure you've got resources at your disposal. Stick him in a box and have your medics give him a once over. We'll see. He's healthy as anyone can be in this situation. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Dolores Jones, a Black Tusk operative active in New York, most likely the one we saw in the trailer, made a deal with Keener, getting their hands on Chernenko. Why exactly they wanted Chernenko is unsure, but I have a theory. To maintain power, which you need to create the new dynasty they want, the Black Tusk need to be able to provide a cure to people, the broad spectrum antiviral. However, the BSAV is only one part of the equation. You also need a way to mass produce it, so you can create enough samples for a large population, hence the perfusion bioreactor. 
Yet, as we know, the Black Tusk lost both the BSAV and Perfusion Bioreactor to the Division. Still, the third part of the formula would have been a scientist who would be able to use it and that's where Chinenko comes in. With him in their custody, they could later think of a plan to get their hands on the two other parts of the equation. It also explains why they keep him in a quarantine prison, because they're afraid he's infected. Although I see why Keener doesn't need Chernenko, it seems crazy to give him to another group that might oppose him. But, as Chernenko said, Keener does everything with a purpose. Vivian, if you want your family to get justice, we need to work together. The cleaners don't trust outsiders. They trust you. <laughs> I'm not an outsider. I just want to help. I don't want to know where their intel is coming from. You're an agent. They know how resourceful you can be. And if they keep pushing, just tell them it was Kajika. Okay. When can you get it to me? Tomorrow. Just tell me where and when to meet you. Vivian Conley, a rogue agent and at this point leader of the Cleaners, one of the biggest factions in Manhattan, is starting to work alongside Keener. Interesting to see is that the Cleaners probably don't know Conley is working for Keener and he wants to keep it that way. The Cleaners, as we know, are a group of former sanitation workers hell-bent on destroying everything that came in contact with the virus. Keener, on the other hand, created a new virus and that wouldn't sit well with the Cleaners, which is why they couldn't know the intel came from Keener. Still, it doesn't explain why Conley would work with Keener against the Black Tusk. Yet this is where Keener's plan gets into motion. You know where I stand, Keener. I do, Vivian. This is important to you. We need to get justice for your family. You know where he is? I do. You're positive. Last man battalion had him. Black Tusk showed up and they were more than happy to switch sides. Chernenko has been in their custody the whole time. That Russian motherfucker is gonna pay for what he did. You have to be smart about it. I'll clear the boardwalk, then your team will be clear to strike. All right. Black Tusk won't know what hit him. Keener hasn't been fully transparent with Conley either, one of his most trusted allies. Judging from the conversation, Conley didn't know Keener had Chernenko, although I do wonder how she thought he made this new virus. He said the LMB had Chernenko and now that Charles Bliss was eliminated, the LMB looking for new leadership merged with the Black Tusk, two private melee contractors becoming one. This was also confirmed by the developers with the Black Tusk having new archetypes in the LMB Rusher, Medic and Tanks. But back to the story, to Conley it would have made sense that the Black Tusk would have had Chernenko. And so Keener manipulated Conley and her cleaners to launch an assault on the Black Tusk in the Solar Amusement Park. We're set. 1600. Meet at the ferry terminal. Fuck yeah. I can't believe you found that fucker. Good to have friends on the inside. We ever gonna meet this insider? Cut the chatter. Sorry, ma'am. All right. Who's ready to collect Chernenko's ashes? Chernenko secured. Hostile radio intercepted. This is it. Move in and incinerate the Black Tusk. He played us. He's working with the cleaners. Ma'am, Keener's close. His radio signal is coming from inside the park. Everyone, with me. Let's kill this motherfucker. Conley most likely has lost her family in the green poison pandemic, blaming Chernenko in the process. It's unsure if she knows it was Amherst who created the green poison, but she probably does. Chernenko working with Amherst makes him an accomplice in her eyes and she wants to kill him for that. So Keener played both Conley and the cleaners as well as the Black Tusk. Classic Keener. However, before Conley and the cleaners could locate Chernenko, it was the division who infiltrated the Black Tusk base, took out a large part of the Black Tusk and extracted Chernenko. In the process, the division managed to eliminate Elijah Sumner, one of the BTSU members. After the rescue of Chernenko, the division, as well as Jones, were chasing Keener, who assisted Conley and the cleaners in their assault on the amusement park. In a video log, Keener announced his betrayal to Jones. Uh, Dolores, deals off. I don't really need you anymore. Stick around. <laughs> Enjoy the park. It gets cold in here at night. But don't worry. I got something to keep you warm. 
Jones, in pursuit of Keener, blew up the roller coaster and trapped Jones and her team of Black Tusk, leaving them to deal with the Division, who managed to take out Jones eventually. I was kind of amazed how well the cleaners matched up to the Black Tusk, an elite military organization, but I remembered that Conley, being an engineer, managed to improve the gear and use the element of surprise to overwhelm the Black Tusk. Agent, it looks like the Black Tusk are retreating. What the? I lost control of the drone. Who the hell is doing this? Congratulations, Agent. You've got Chernenko. Oh, that's okay, you can keep him. He has served his purpose. Now, this operation went much smoother than I expected, and that is partially thanks to you. I know, it's frustrating. I'm right here, and you're right there. But never forget, I will always be one step ahead of you. I'm in control, because I'm not afraid to take control. You still follow orders. That's why you never win. I'll see you real soon. It doesn't look like the division coming in was part of Keener's plan, but it worked out in his favor nonetheless. Keener still seems on top of things. Still, this was only the first part of Keener's plan. With the Black Tusk at least temporarily out of his way, having acquired his new virus and not having to deal with Chernenko, he's ready for the next phase of his plan. Through trailers and teasers that have been released, we know Keener using his new virus launched a biological attack on the Division headquarters, killing dozens of agents, Division personnel, JTF and civilians. They specifically mentioned the attack was in Lower Manhattan, although horrible, it wasn't the base of operations in the post office in Midtown Manhattan from the previous game. I wanted to clear that up since many people thought this was the case. But that's the story of episode 3. We've seen how Keener managed to manipulate both one of his rogue agents, her cleaners, as well as the Black Tusk. It still leaves us with some questions. Why did Keener launch a biological attack on Division headquarters? What does he gain from that? Does he completely want to destroy the Division? What happened to and is the plan of the remaining Black Tusk members like Barden Schaefer and Jack Bonney? And who are the shadowy organization behind the Black Tusk and what is their plan at this point? I hope all of this will be answered in the new expansion, Warriors of New York. I'm very interested to see the return of the factions like the Cleaners, Rikers and LMB, as well as some old characters and what happened in the past 7-8 to eight months in New York City. Finally, going up against Keener is awesome too, although I hope we don't get to kill him. He has been such a fundamental antagonist in the story of the Division and I think simply killing him wouldn't do the game justice. I guess all we can do is wait and see. If you liked the video, please give it a like or a dislike if you think that's what the video deserved. Are you interested in more game lore, specifically for The Division, make sure to subscribe for similar content. If you want to talk about more topics like this, you can also join the Discord. Another great Division or in general Tom Clancy game lore YouTuber is NGN Gaming, so make sure to check him out too. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>